All right, I am a mental game coach for poker players. It's gonna sound a little odd, as will my presentation called Inchworm Learning. Okay, I'm gonna talk about, now, how many people actually know what inchworms are? Show of hands. Okay, so Inchworm Learning, I'm gonna show you how this little thing can actually be one of the most powerful tools that you can use to better understand the learning process. Now, the learning process is one of the most important skills that we have, okay? Learning is what makes a baby turn from crawling to walking. It's what takes a first date and turns it into a marriage. You have to get to know somebody, which is another way of saying learning about somebody. So learning is a skill, and we are wired to do it. We are the, the, the best species on the planet for learning. But yet, there's a huge range in our abilities to learn. People, it's a skill, and some do it better than others. Now, this guy does not do it very well. He has a job that stresses him out, incredibly frustrated, and becomes hopeless at times because of flaws in his ability to understand the learning process. And in some respects, uh, if you are not uh, rising to the challenge, if you are not growing in a highly competitive environment, you are falling behind. Okay? Athletes, it happens to all the time. In business, it happens all the time. If you're not growing and changing and learning, you were falling behind, but the inchworm is the key. Okay? And the inchworm is the key because of how these little suckers move. And I'm gonna show you very soon exactly what happens. Um, now, inchworms are essentially a bell curve. Okay? And you look at a bell curve describes a range. Now most people think of bell curves with IQ. You know, there's a range of IQs in the world. Most people have an average IQ of 100. Very few people have really low IQs, and very few people have very high IQs. Now, bell curves also exist for other skills such as leadership, presentation skills, and the same thing applies. Most people are in the middle, very few at the very outer edges of, of presentation skills or leadership skills uh, on, on either end. Now, leadership skills, uh, sorry, um, a bell curve also exists for skills that exist within you. So your own leadership skill, your own presentation skills, and you have a range that exists among all of your skills. Now, Strength. <coughs> Some people have strengths that well outpace the, the weaknesses of other people. So you take you at your worst within your strength, you're going to be head and shoulders above other people at their strength. Okay? Now the way that you catch up if you're behind is the way an inchworm walks. Now an inchworm walks by picking up its front foot, so to speak, stretching out, anchoring, and then lifting the back and squeezing together. It's the same way that a bell curve moves. If you improve your, you at your best, the front end of your bell curve moves forward, it expands out, you create a greater range in your ability because your weaknesses have not improved until it takes a step forward and you have eliminated your worst. But what happens to most people? They fail to focus on their weaknesses. Not only the weaknesses that exist across their skills, but the weaknesses within their own strengths. And their range gets wider and wider and wider, and it takes more and more energy to be at their best. And if they're not at their best, and they're a little tired, a little unfocused, they slip backwards. And they fall back, and it feels like you've taken steps backwards, but that's not true. All you have done is moved within your range until you eliminate your greatest weakness. And then the back end moves forward, and you create a new low point. Okay? And this new low point, once you've mastered the correction of that weakness, you can never fall below it because it is impossible to unlearn something once you've mastered it. In the process, it's messy. There's steps forward and backwards, and you're gonna go, some days you're gonna be great, some days you're gonna be slightly off, some days you're gonna be freaking terrible. But the idea is that if you keep moving your back end, you will create a stabilizing point very similar to a rock climber. Rock climbers anchor themselves so they cannot fall too far. If they climb up really high and forget to anchor themselves, what happens? They fall really far. Okay, but as they climb higher, they anchor themselves. And that's the back end of your bell curve moving forward so you create new low points and in essence, protect your ass. A couple more points. Okay, so the key is learning happens from two places. Your best gets better and your worst gets better. It's not about having a single point move. You have to move the entire range of your ability to actually improve. And what this does is create a smooth path of improvement. Okay? The learning process, if you get it wrong, is chaotic, creates a lot of stress, but it does not have to. You can 
take nice, smooth steps forward if you always understand your weaknesses. Thank you.